네, 감자. 예, 네, 자유리리? 예, 네, 네, So see this question. <웃음> question number 36. This is the previous year question of CVSC asked in your exam. So first read the question. Two identical slabs of a given metal of a given metal are joined together in two different ways shown in figure. So first way of joining is this and another way of joining is this. They are asking what is the ratio of the resistance of the two combinations. So what you will do means this is first, this is second, this is first and this is second slab. So first we will calculate, they are identical slabs. So first we will calculate the resistance of individual slabs. They are like this. This type of slabs given to us. Since you can just extend it like this is the slab given here. So I am just calculating the resistance of one of the slab. They have the same length. And they are identical, means and of given material. And the material of both the slab is also same. Material of both the slab is also same. One, two. So this is the area of cross section. This is the area of cross section. This, this is the area of cross section. Here you can see this is the area of cross section. Area of cross section. Area of cross section of both the slab is same. And resistivity of both the slab is same. So resistivity here, resistivity here is same. Rho is the resistivity and length area and we know if you want to find the resistance of this then this will be rho l divided by a if you want to find r2 then you will write rho l divided by a means r1 and r2 are equal and i am supposing r1 equal to r2 is r so resistance of this slab is R and the resistance of this slab is R. So this combination is a series combination. This combination is a series combination. So figure A will write from figure A. You can conclude that both the slabs are connected in Slabs connected in series. So for series, if you want to find the equivalent resistance, RE means this RE means equivalent resistance as for series. So you will write R1 plus R2, you will get R plus R to R. From figure V, slabs are connected in parallel. See here, uh, 
the these slabs are connected in parallel because across the ends of the slab the potential difference will be same and here in this case the current will be same so if the slabs are connected in parallel then you can find the r equivalent of parallel 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 and r1 is r r2 is also r you will get 2 by r then you will get equivalent resistance in parallel as r by 2 and they are asking the ratio of resistance in series and ratio of equivalent resistance in parallel that is 2r and r by 2 and r and r will cancel cancel out this will become 4 ratio 1 so in this way you will solve this question so just uh, now i am taking this question question number 13 so question number 13 is distinguish between the emf and the terminal voltage of a cell so what is emf emf is the maximum potential difference emf is the maximum potential difference or you can say the potential difference in open circuit is emf and terminal voltage is the potential difference in the closed circuit so this question you can solve by yourself you can check my notes you can check your notes this question is little bit good question i will say they are asking they are asking see the question first listen quick carefully they are asking the emf of a cell is always greater than its terminal voltage the e and why so hamza can you tell me this is is this statement true or false the emf of a cell is always greater than its terminal voltage yes sir it's true no it is not true see actually this question uh, they have given the question this question is i will not say this question is incorrect but this question is incomplete they, why or why not they should have given ha why or why not they have to given means okay just listen and then you will understand i am giving you the, i am explaining it with you. some example suppose you have a cell and we know that cell have the internal resistance suppose you have a cell of emf e internal resistance r and this is the resistance r suppose this cell is charging cell cell charging so and here is the external resistance connected so what i have told told you what is the potential difference when the cell is charging e plus i r so in the charging condition the terminal voltage is greater than the emf so this statement is not true they are saying always greater than the terminal voltage always not always in case when the cell is charging then terminal voltage will be greater okay but this is true only when the cell is in discharging condition so cell is discharging so this is a cell we have and internal resistance of the cell connected with our resistance r here this is internal resistance this is so during the discharging what is the terminal voltage v is equal to e minus i r we have the equation so in this case you can say the emf is greater than the terminal voltage for the second case and why is it, it is greater why because you will say because this is the potential drop here due to this potential drop 
potential drop due to internal resistance there will be some potential drop in internal resistance so that is why the terminal potential will be less than the emf in case when the cell is discharging but in case of charging the terminal voltage will be greater but if suppose this question appeared in your examination so what you will do you will write this answer you will write this answer and you will suppose the cell is charging you will suppose the cell is charging you will not suppose actually uh, the examiner already assume they have already assume discharging of cell so why discharging of cell because generally we see our phone are discharging for a greater time than charging means you are using a phone you charge it's using your... more power than it's gaining yeah 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 you are right you are right means not you can say gaining the power is equal but the time duration of spending the power means the most of the time we see that the devices are discharging they are suppose, losing uh, power in faster time uh, than they are gaining power yeah. in faster time suppose this is suppose this is a phone and uh, a, when i go to the sleep i used to charge my phone okay i used to charge my phone at least uh, charge my phone at least for 2 hours but i use and that charging process taking place for 2 hours only but whole of the day my phone is getting discharged means the battery of this phone is getting discharged whole of the day so the sense in that sense you can say the examiner has given the question nothing else so but you should know the 100% concept if suppose uh, examiner has given in the examination that uh, this question is twisted in a form that is always the emf of the cell is greater than the terminal voltage and question mark then you will say no not always the terminal uh, not always the emf is greater than the terminal voltage as in case of charging the terminal voltage is greater than the emf so that i want to explain so just note all the questions and this question is easy i will say so these types of questions you will get in your exam you have to follow the approach how which formula you will apply in the question so just take the screenshot of this first taken the screenshot sir one minute okay done very good now let's take this done okay now this done okay this done now fine done so uh got the concept of charging and discharging yes there there is a difference in charging of the cell and the discharging of the cell when the cell is charging when the cell is charging the direction of current is also opposite generally not generally always the direction of current is from positive to negative na always the direction of current is from positive to negative terminal of the cell but in case of charging when the cell is charging the direction of current is from negative to positive terminal so during 
discharging this statement is very very important during discharging the direction of current is like this and during charging i will say just remember this statement this thing you already know that current is from positive to negative but the direction of current changes when the cell is in the charging condition so just note this down properly and we will solve the question so just i am moving forward so first read this question i am just zooming in hamza just read read this question by yourself first then i will discuss if you will read the question properly then you can solve the question easily for solving the numerical you have to follow a uh, the approaches there are different different types of approaches for solving the numericals but you have to think that by your mind which approach which formula which concept i should use use so just i am solving it just see here okay see here they are saying a battery of emf e on a internal resistance r gives a current of 0.5 ampere with external resistance of 12 ohm so means we have a battery and this battery have the internal resistance and this battery is connected with an external resistance of 12 ohm and suppose e is the emf of the battery r is the internal resistance of the battery and current is flowing like this from positive terminal to negative terminal like this so here what we are considering we are just if nothing is given if nothing is given you will consider the discharging of the cell if nothing is given you will consider discharging of the cell so this is the direction of the cell because this cell is in the discharging condition so can you find the current current is given as 0.5 ampere means they are saying if this cell this cell is connected with a 12 ohm resistance we will get a current of this so we will write the equation so current is given by emf divided by the total resistance total resistance is this 12 total resistance is 12 plus r from here you will get e equal to 0.50 12 plus r this is your equation 1 and after that they are saying that you have the same battery of internal same internal resistance and you have connected this battery with a resistance of 25 ohm and current becomes this time 0.25 ampere now you will make the equation 0.25 is equal to e divided by total resistance from here you will get the equation e is equal to 0.25 25 plus r this is equation 2 now when you will solve the equation 1 and 2 from equation 1 and 2 see here this e is equal to this this e is equal to this means this thing and this thing will be equal so 0.50 12 plus r 
is equal to 0.25 25 plus r so when you will cancel it out you will get 2 and when you will multiply this 2 you will get 24 plus 2r and 25 plus r so 2r minus r 25 minus 24 here you will get r you will get 1 ohm as the answer so this is your first answer internal resistance you have calculated the internal resistance r now you have to calculate the emf this emf you have to calculate for that what you will do you will put the value of r in any of the equation either in equation 1 or in equation 2 so i am putting in equation 1 this is the calculation part this is the calculation part okay so just put the value e is equal to 0.5 plus r so 0.5 12 instead of r you will place 1 so e equal to 0.5 into 30 you will get the answer 6.5 so emf is equal to 6.5 volts 6.5 volts is the answer i have done nothing just applied the equation of current current is equal to emf divided by the total resistance so just copy this question and you will consider here the charging condition oh sorry discharging condition just take the screenshot and that taken Hamza, have you got this question? How I have solved this? Yes, sir. This is very simple question, but you have to follow the uh, follow this uh, procedure. Means first you will make two equation and then you will solve the two equation. You will get the answer. So take. Have you taken the screenshot of this? Please take the screenshot. should i scroll down this 12 ohm and this r are connected in series c the same wire is this so total resistance is 12 plus r here i have written and then we got this equation okay just take the screenshot of this taken the yes sir taken na completely completely taken all the all all the parts yes yes okay just now the next topic is series combination of cell series combination of cell just write the heading series combination of cell
so series combinations so in this topic what we will do from now what we will do we will study the combination of cells either the parallel combination or the series combination so first we will take the cells of different different emf different different internal resistance and connect them in series and parallel and after that we have a series combination of identical cell the meaning of identical cell is having the same emf and same internal resistance so now i am taking the series combination of cells of different emf and different internal resistance so this is the cell and always remember that representation of cell is this e is the emf of the cell r is the internal resistance of the cell and this is the positive terminal of the cell this is the negative terminal of the cell so this is the representation of cell okay now i am connecting cells so there are two ways i have connected three cells like this with an external resistance this is the external resistance r this cell has emf e1 internal resistance r1 and current is flowing like this from this positive cell like this so in hamza you can just identify the polarity means this is a positive terminal this is negative this is positive terminal this is negative term this is positive terminal this is negative term so here the positive terminal of the cell is the the positive terminal of this cell is connected to the negative terminal or you you can see here the negative terminal of the cell is connected to positive negative terminal is connected to positive negative terminal is connected to the positive terminal of the cell so this is the case one when positive terminal or you can say the negative terminal when negative terminal connected to positive of cell positive of cell means positive terminal of cell so in this case if i want to find the equivalent resistance so direction of current direction of current is same in all the cell from positive to negative from positive to negative the direction of current so the direction of current in whole circuit is from positive to negative so if we want to find the e equivalent e suffix e is the equivalent emf equivalent emf of circuit and r e is the equivalent internal resistance of circuit internal resistance of circuit so if you want to calculate this e equivalent you will just add all the emfs e1 plus e2 plus 
equal. If you want to find R equivalent, then you will write R1 plus R2 plus R3. Because resistances are connected in series and cells are also connected in series. So we will have the equivalent of EMF and the internal resistance like this. So now the case second we have. Earlier we have connected the cell with in a proper manner. Means the negative of the cell is connected to the positive. But now we will have a random connection of. Write the heading random connection. Random connection of cells. Random connection means. See here. Suppose I am having a cell. Internal resistance R. And this is the cell. And this is having the internal resistance R. And this is the cell. Right? This time four cells are connected in series. And this is the external resistance R. So now you can see here, this is the positive, this is negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative. So here negative is connected with negative. Negative is connected with negative. Positive is connected with positive. And also negative is connected with positive. So there are various, various connection here. So you have to choose the direction of current. Suppose the current is flowing in this direction. Like this. Like this, the current is flowing. So, Hamza, can you tell me, suppose this cell has the EMF E1 internal resistance R1, E2, R2, E3, R3, E4, R4. Hamza, can you tell me, can you tell me which cell is discharging and which cell is Suppose this is cell 1, this is cell 2, this is cell 3, and this is cell 4. Can you tell me which, which of the following cells are discharging? 1, 2, 3, 4. Among 1, 2, 3, 4, which of the cells are discharging? You have to just check the direction of current. Are you able to give the answer? Or should I give the answer? Mm, sorry, you should give the answer. Okay. Fine. So now see here. See here. This is the positive terminal. So for this cell, the current is leaving the positive terminal. So if the current is leaving the positive terminal, means the direction of current is from positive terminal to negative terminal. Direction of current here is from positive to negative. This means this cell is discharging condition. Now see this cell. Here the current is leaving the negative terminal. Means here the current is from negative to positive. So this cell is charging condition. So here you can see here also the current is leaving positive terminal. Here also the current is leaving positive terminal. 
so this is also discharging this is also discharging c4 charging d4 discharge so either you can take the charging potential as positive or discharging potential as positive so this is i am taking discharging putting discharging emf as positive this is positive this is mm, charging this is negative this is discharging this is i am taking positive you can take any po positive any negative charging positive or charging negative you can so i want to find e equivalent then what i will write e1 that is positive minus e2 plus e3 plus e4 but for the equivalent internal resistance you will always write r1 plus r2 plus r3 plus r4 internal resistance will be always added up independent of the connecting polarity of them so just i will give you and advise here you should consider you should consider cells having greater magnitude of emf greater magnitude of emf as positive but at the same time i am saying you can this is just the advice but you can choose any cell positive any cell negative depending upon the charging and discharging so take the screenshot of this now take the screenshot if you have already taken then you can tell Done. me okay now take this done very good now we have one question just read the question by yourself then we will solve this is a question of ncert this is the question based on the series combination of cell done okay very good so we have read the question now we will solve it so here they are saying a storage battery a storage battery means the battery of your phone is the storage battery and it and and hamza what is the difference between the battery and the capacitor um battery stores electric current and the capacitor also stores electric current okay uh, actually we cannot store electric current we can store only charge so uh, you can say that both the devices are used to store the charge uh, yes yeah charge flow of charge is the current we cannot store the current so charge is and the difference is what is the difference between the battery and the capacitor what do you will what would you want to say about that uh difference between battery uh, and yeah capacitor okay no problem we have discussed this in uh, capacitance when we were we were studying the capacitance mm -hmm. मैं सर्च कर रहा हूँ उसका सर्च कर रहा हूँ सर ने बोले व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बैटरी एंड कैपेसिटर मुझे मालूम नहीं ना 
सर बोल रहे वहाँ से पढ़ने तो मैं टेक्स्ट बुक की वजह से गूगल में सर्च कर रहा हूँ ओके आंसर जस्ट आई एम टेलिंग यू व्हाट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कैपेसिटर एंड द बैटरी सो बोथ आर यूज टू स्टोर द चार्ज बोथ आर यूज टू स्टोर द चार्ज ड्यूरिंग द चार्जेस बोथ डिवाइसेस बिहेव सेम द बिहेवियर ऑफ बोथ डिवाइसेस विल रिमेन सेम व्हेन ड्यूरिंग द चार्जिंग व्हाट इज लाइक द डिफरेंस लाइक Yeah, yeah. I, I am, I am coming to the difference. The difference is that the battery discharges slowly or gradually, but the discharging of capacitor is takes place instantly. Okay. The capacitor discharge instantly. Like for an example, my phone have the battery. This phone have the battery. The discharging of my phone takes place slowly, na. But now I am giving you one of the example. Just see here. Uh, this is the flash of my phone. Now what will happen? Just off, on, off, on. So here the capacitor will be connected because the instant giving. The capacitor gives the energy at an instant. Instantly, the capacitor gives the energy, but battery gives the energy slowly. Okay, have you got? Got it, Hamza? Yes. So we have discussed this also. Uh, I have given us in this now in chapter. In this chapter, in the capacitor, we have see here. I have write this in the form of question. See, battery and capacitor, both devices store charge. What is the difference between the two? We have done this, na? So during charging, behave same. During discharging, battery or cell discharges gradually. Capacitor discharges instantly with a friction of second. I have given the example of flashlight of a phone's camera. Okay, just leave that. We are coming to our topic, and we have to solve this question. Okay, so let's see this question. you have to apply your mind here in this question so the question says that a storage battery of a storage battery of ems 8 volt and internal resistance of 0.5 ohm so we have a battery are you okay with red color hamza yes sir so we have the battery this is the battery we have and this battery have some internal resistance means this battery is of 8 volt and internal resistance of 0.5 volt and this battery is charged by this battery is charged by a battery of 20 volt 120 volt and a resistance of 15.5 ohm is connected in series of this battery so this is charging so direction of current will be from positive terminal like this and this is this will be the discharging then so here the current will be from negative to positive so what you will say this 8 volt battery is charging given in the question and this is discharging so this is very very simple you can relate it with some example also this question you can relate 
suppose i am having a this mobile phone and this mobile phone have the battery and i have connected this mobile phone with a power bank so that power this is a power bank and the power bank is charging this phone power bank is charging this phone it means that the power bank is giving the energy to this phone means that the power bank is getting discharged but the battery of this phone is getting charged so same is the case here you can see this 120 volt battery this 120 volt battery is charging this 8 volt battery so this will get discharged because this is giving out the energy and this is taking the energy so we have to find the terminal voltage of the battery during charging so we have to find the terminal voltage of this 8 volt battery and what is the terminal voltage during during, during charging we have the formula e plus ir during charging we have a formula of terminal voltage so now you can apply what is e e is 8 volt what is i we do not have i what is internal resistance internal resistance is 0.5 8 here i don't know r is this internal resistance is this so now we will calculate the current i as the wire is same the current will be same so how will you calculate the current for calculating the current you will require the equivalent emf and the equivalent resistance how you will calculate the equivalent emf equivalent emf you have two emfs and i have told you take the higher emf as positive and lower emf as negative so what is the equivalent emf 120 minus 8 equivalent emf will be 120 minus 8 this will be 1112 volt and what is equivalent resistance equivalent resistance is 15.5 plus 0.5 this will become 16 ohm c this resistance is connected with this resistance in series so we can just add the both the resistance and we can get the current so current is e equivalent e equivalent is 112 divided by 16 you will get 7 ampere now put you will put this i is equal to 7 ampere in equation 1 then you will get the terminal voltage what is equation 1 v is equal to 8 plus i into 0.5 so v is equal to 8 plus i is 7 into 0.5 and you will get the answer 8 plus 3.5 and you will get 11.5 volts so now you can see that here also here also you can see that this is the terminal potential difference of the cell and this is the emf of the cell so i have proved that terminal potential difference can be gre greater than the emf of the cell in charging condition so hamza have you got the question Do you want to ask anything about this? No, sir. Just note this down. Take the screenshot. This is a good question. I will say. Certain. But you should remember the direction of current when the cell is charging, when a cell is discharging, when a cell is charging. Direction of current will be from negative terminal to positive terminal. Okay. Sorry. we have done the mistake this cell is discharging na and this cell cell is charging so the direction of current will be like this na actually we have to change the polarity here nothing else just i will change it in one minute here will be negative and here will be positive so current will be like uh, 
फ्रॉम दिस पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल टू दिस इज चार्जिंग ना सो करंट विल बी लाइक दिस जस्ट वेट वी हैव टू चेंज दिस एट वोल्ट बैटरी दिस इज डिस्चार्जिंग सो करंट इज लाइक दिस एंड दिस इज चार्जिंग मीन्स करंट विल बी terminate at positive so this is the figure so from here okay this is the negative this is the positive this is charging means the current is leaving the negative potential negative terminal okay just note it down now now take the screenshot and remove the screenshot earlier you have taken taken yes sir okay anza now take this okay this is the answer okay should i start the next topic then sir okay so the parallel combination of different cells is not in your syllabus parallel combination of cell is not in your syllabus so i am just moving forward series combination of identical cell now we will have the identical cell so identical cell means what is the meaning of identical cell identical cell means cells having equal emf and equal internal resistance so i am connecting n cells in series n number of cells small n number of cells in series i am connecting this is the external resistance r so all the cells are identical so they have same emf and internal resistance and direction of current is in this such now if you want to calculate the equivalent then you will add all the emfs and times so you will get the equivalent emf as n e and similarly you will get you will add r n times you will get an r so the exam i i want to give you if you are adding 2 2 2 3 time then you will get 3 into 2 if you get if you are adding 2 2 2 2 2 means 1 2 3 4 5 means you are adding 5 times 2 then you will get 5 into 2 if you are adding n times 2 then you will multiply n into 2 so and if you are adding e into n time then you will write n e so this is the so now equivalent circuit i will draw here 
इक्वेलेंट सर्किट सो इक्वेलेंट सर्किट मींस रिप्लेसिंग ऑल दीज रिप्लेसिंग ऑल दीज विथ अ सिंगल इक्वेलेंट सेल now okay just wait now what you will do you will remove all these resistances or all, all these cells and connect a single cell connect a single cell of emf e equivalent and r e so in this circuit the direction of current is this so how you will calculate the current you will calculate the current equivalent emf divided by the equivalent resistance so current is e equivalent is n e and r equivalent is and r plus you will add this r also so if you will take n common from the denominator take the n common from this so we will take the n common then it will become r by n plus r and n and n will get con cancel out then you will get the value of current as e divided by r by n plus r so this is the current you will get and n cells connected in series now one thing more case one we have two types of resistances here one is external resistance r another is internal resistance so if inter this re means the internal resistance of the cell becomes much much greater than the external resistance of the cell so you can write this r by n plus r r by n plus r approximately equal to r and accordingly you will change the equation of current from here e divided by you will write here r by r by n so you will get the current and e divided by r so this thing you will get so i have done r divided by n
सो के सेकेंड when external resistance is much much greater than r okay we have done a mistake again in the calculation also so from here if you will take n common n common then this will become r plus r divided by n this is your current and this n also will remove from here here is n this n and n will get cancel out then you will get the okay then you will get the i so i will be e divided by r plus r by n so this is the current in the series combination of identical cell when n identical cell are connected in series so now we will take case first when internal resistance is much much greater than the external resistance so this denominator of the current this denominator this we can write r plus r by n can be approximately equal to r so you can write the value of current as e by r if you will take the case second when external resistance is much more greater than r then you can write this r by n approximately equal to r by n because this r is larger so the current will be e divided by r by n and you will get the value of current as n e divided by r n e divided by r हाँ हो गया अंदर सो हेयर यू कैन सी यू कैन सी हेयर हेयर दिस इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस इज लार्जर हेयर द एक्सटर्नल रेजिस्टेंस इज लार्जर ओके बट हेयर यू विल सी दिस आई बाय आर see here r is much much greater so it means that this current current in this case is lesser current in this case is lesser and current in this case is larger so this is the larger current means this is the maximum current why this current is maximum because when you will compare this with this then you will get this will be maximum current because here here you will see r is very much greater and when you will divide this r when you divide e with r you will get less current so there is one node point for maximum current for maximum current in circuit if external resistance external resistance means r is large then we will prefer series combination series combination 
you will get the answer means you will get the understanding of this statement when we will solve one question so now just copy this we have connected n equal cells identical cells in series i'm not taking the screenshot what sir uh, you have taken the screenshot इसका स्क्रीनशॉट ले लिया आपने यस यस एंड दिस वन ऑलमोस्ट कंप्लीटेड नॉट क्वाइट वी हैव गॉट बैक टू अम नो वंडर ओके टेक इट अम ओके डन दिस वन डन यस ओके दिस वन आल्सो डन एंड नाउ टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ दिस डन ओके फाइन so this is the series combination of identical cell this is little bit of theoretical part and now we will have the parallel combination of identical cell parallel combination of identical cell is a part of our syllabus now what we will do we will connect the cell parallelly and which types of cell identical cell so parallel combination we already know in parallel combination the potential difference is same or the voltage is same so now cells will be connected like this suppose one cell is this and this is the internal resistance of the cell another cell is this and suppose this is the internal resistance of the cell another cell is this suppose this is the internal resistance of the cell and in this way you have connected n number of cells you have connected m number of cells means here m is small m cells connected in parallel and this whole combination is connected with an external resistance r and all the cells are identical so emf is e internal resistance r emf is e internal resistance r emf is e internal resistance as r so if the current is flowing like this the current is flowing like this suppose the current is flowing like this so first thing is to calculate the equivalent emf of cell so equivalent emf of this circuit 
will be e because in parallel in parallel the potential difference will remain same and emf is the potential difference emf also the potential difference and for the internal resistance you will these internal resistances these internal resistances are connected in parallel for parallel equal equivalent resistance you will use this formula 1 upon r 1 upon r 1 upon r and you will add 1 upon r m times and the can you do the calculation this can you do this calculation for me what will be the answer of this if you are adding 1 upon r 1 upon r 1 upon r m times just try it Yeah. Then what is the answer? What is the answer of this? Okay, just I am solving. You can check if you have problem. So what happens here? One upon R equivalent. You want to find what you will do? You have one upon R, one upon R, one upon R. If in denominator you have R, so you will take the LCM as R. and you will add 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times so if you are adding any quantity n times then you will write n into that quantity divided by r actually here you are adding m times you are adding m times This is very basic and simple calculation. Just so, m times you are adding one, so you will get m into one means m by r and r equivalent. You will get r by n. So little bit of mathematic is here. Means suppose if you are adding Two plus two, two times. So what you will do? Two into two. If you are adding two, three times. What you what you will do? You will write two, three times. If you are adding two, four times, then you will write two into four. Suppose if you are adding. R, 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 M times. If you are adding adding R, 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 M times, then what you will do? You will multiply this R with M. So you can write this M into R. So this is I have done here. i am adding 1 with m times i don't know whether you have understood or not okay so if we want to find so i am just going the equivalent circuit so equivalent circuit means i will remove all this cells and connect a single equivalent cell 
of some internal resistance equivalent internal resistance with this external resistance so current will be e equivalent divided by r equivalent what is e equivalent e equivalent this time is e see the e equivalent this time is e and what is r equivalent r equivalent is r y n you will get the current and e divided by r you will get this you will get the value of this is m so here also you will write m so you will get the value of current as m e divided by r so here also we will have two cases case first when the external resistance becomes much much larger than the internal resistance and one thing more here i will be r equivalent r equivalent will be this na hamza r equivalent will be the sum of this resistance r equivalent will be the sum of this resistance and this resistance so r equivalent is equal to r e plus r and what is r e r y m r e is r y m plus r so we have added this and we got the current this just removing this we have got this current we have got got this curve okay so if r is greater greater than r then you will write r plus r by m approximately equal to r then current will be e by r only second case if this internal resistance become much much larger than r then r plus r by m approximately written as r by m so you can write this i is equal to e divided by r by m this m will go in numerator this will become m e divided by r and this is the maximum current so you will write the statement when internal resistance is large when internal resistance is large b prefer parallel combination when we prefer parallel combination when maximum current is required and just note it down and after this i will solve i will give you a question and we will solve that question and you will get the meaning of this statement just take the screenshots
Have you taken the screenshot? Sir, one minute. Took the screenshot? Done. Scroll down. Yes, sir. Fix the done. Completed? Yes. Now we will have this question. Question number eight. This question is. Now you will understand the meaning of those statements here. Third part we will solve in the next class. This we will solve in the next class when we will discuss the mixed combination so just focus here they are saying eight cells we have we are having eight cells eight identical cells we have have eight identical cells we have and those eight cells mean each cell have two volt EMF, EMF of each cell is, just focus on this question, this question will give you each and every answer in the derivation. We have 8 cells and each cell has internal resistance of each 8 cell having the EMF of 2 volts and internal resistance as 1 ohm internal resistance as 1 ohm this is the condition they are saying how would you combine them to get the maximum current see the statement in the circuit to get the maximum current in the circuit if external resistance is this one if external resistance is 100 Oh, just focus here. You have to apply your mind here. Now, what you are doing, you have the internal resistance of 1 ohm. Can you say that this R is much, much greater than a small r? This external resistance is much, much greater than internal resistance? Yes. So, so what I have written earlier, if the uh, here I have written, I think when the internal uh, here in series combination, see the statement for the maximum current in the circuit. If the external resistance R is large, then we will prefer series combination. So what we what you will do there? You will connect, you will connect the cell in the series combination. So here we will say for maximum current, P paper series combination. So what is the equivalent resistance if you are connecting 8 cells in series? If you are connecting 8 cells in series, so what is the equivalent EMF you will get? You are connecting, you are adding to this 8 times. So equivalent EMF you will get 2 into 8. 
means you will get 16 volt and what is the equivalent internal resistance you will add 1 plus 1 plus 1 8 times if you are adding 1 8 times then you will get 8 into 1 means 8 and now you have a cell this is the equivalent circuit resistance is 100 ohm and this have a equivalent emf of 16 volt and equivalent internal resistance of 8 ohm now find the current i is equal to e divided by r 100 plus 8 the answer is 16 divided by 108 you can solve it by yourself in the second in the second case second case you have the external resistance of 0.01 ohm and internal resistance of 1 ohm so you can say this condition is this like this so if the condition is like this for maximum current for maximum current you will prefer prefer parallel combination parallel combination means now eight identical cell you will connect in parallel and in parallel combination the emf will be 2 volt and equivalent resistance when you will calculate You will get one divided by eight ohm. Now, current. What is the value of current? Current is this two one by eight plus what is R zero point zero one. When you will calculate, you will get the answer. So in this way, you have to solve. here you can also draw the equivalent circuit equivalent circuit will always remain same nothing will change this is the 0.01 ohm this is 1 ohm this is 2 volt equivalent is 2 volt because in parallel combination the equivalent volt equivalent emf will remain same Okay, Amit, I got it. Yes, sir. So, hope you have understood what is the meaning of this. Means, if the internal resistance is large, then for maximum current, you will connect all the cell in parallel. If the external resistance is large, then you will connect all the cell in series. And rest, this rest of the things are just the calculations. you are just connect if you are connecting eight resistances of 2 volt in series then equivalent emf will be this now okay take the screenshot i hope you have got it and when you will come to the next class please revise your notes practice the questions practice the question otherwise you will get problem in solving the questions i'm not taken the screenshot Amda, took the screenshot. Yes. Okay, just take this. R E means R equivalent.
just take the screenshot of this. Taken. Hamza taken? Yes. Okay, now take this. Okay. Finally, take the screenshot of this. Now we will meet in the next class with some new questions and some new topics. And I am hoping that you are revising your notes properly and arranging the screenshot in a proper order.